Hello and welcome to another video. This one we're going to be talking about the very basics of sorting in Python. Uh, the two main ways to approach it, what algorithm Python uses, and what performance characteristics it has, uh, as well as you know, reverse sorting and sorting based on a derived value. Uh, so anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so we're going to be jumping into the interpreter today. There are two main ways to do sorting in Python. I actually went over this in another video. Uh, one of them is to have a list where you have values and you sort it in place by calling the sort method on a list. This is an in-place sort, meaning it modifies the value, uh, in this case the list, and um, doesn't return a new value. And this is only available on lists, so there isn't a sort on you know tuples where it doesn't make sense because you can't modify a tuple. Um, and then there's the other methodology, which is the sorted built-in function, which takes in some iterable value. And this iterable value could be any type. It could be a list, could be a tuple, basically any iterable value. It could be even a, um, a generator. And the reason for this is uh, we can actually implement our own sorted. And this is basically what Python does, but at the C level. Iterable and keyword arguments. And what their implementation does is it makes a list from that iterable and then calls list.sort on it with whatever uh, arguments are passed along and then returns that list. So we've basically, we've basically re-implemented standard, the, the built-in sort by doing this. That's kind of how it works. Uh, but anyway, that's the two ways to do sorting in Python. And again, I went over those in a different video, so I will link that in the description. Uh, but now I want to talk about the algorithm that sort uses. And um, I wonder if it's in the help. I happen to know that it is a algorithm called TimSort. It doesn't say this here, uh, but I have opened up TimSort on Wikipedia so we can learn a little bit more about this. And this is a algorithm that was actually specifically designed for Python and by one of the core developers, Tim Peters. And that's why it's called TimSort. Um, and it has been you know, used in a bunch of other programming languages as well because of you know, how it works and how, how nice it is. Uh, now, TimSort uses a hybrid sorting model. So it uses kind of two different sort algorithms. Uh, in this case, it's merge sort and insertion sort. Uh, and this allows it to get that, uh, these nice performance characteristics over here. So, um, you know, a, a good sort will sort in n log n time. And you can see here in the worst case performance, it does sort in n log n time. Um, and because of, you know, <laughs> because of mostly sorted things being faster in insertion sort, uh, we get nice things like a best case performance of linear time. And you can see, you know, average time is, uh, again, what you would want from a sorting algorithm and log n, and uh, it does have a linear space overhead in the worst case, and that comes mostly from our merge sort that we talked about here. Um, but this is a you know a fairly good sorting algorithm, and it is also a stable sorting algorithm. Does it talk about that here? Yeah, a stable sorting algorithm. What this means is that if you have two inputs that are equivalent, so like say one integer and one floating point, uh, they will maintain their same order. Uh, in your sort. So if, if the float was first, it'll be a first in the output. Um, and this, this is a, what's called stable. Uh, this matters more if you have you know, actual objects that differ but have the same you know, sorting key. It will make sure that those are maintained in the same order. Um, an unstable sort doesn't do that, but may trade off for space or, or efficiency in other ways. Uh, but Python chose a stable sort because that's what you want most of the time. You wouldn't want, <laughs> you wouldn't want your items to you know, reorder unexpectedly. Now, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter, and so an unstable sort would be okay, but in Python, it's a stable sort. Uh, the other parts of sorting that I want to talk about is how you can manipulate the output of a sort. Uh, so by default, it'll be in increasing order. So if you did it like sorted three, one, two, you'll get one, two, three. Uh, you can actually reverse this by doing reverse equals true. Uh, passing this named argument into sorted. You can also pass it into sort. So if we did x.sort reverse equals true. And again, all the arguments that we're going to go over today um, apply for both of the sorting functions because as you see here, sorted is just calling sort. Uh, so that's one part of this. The other uh, named argument that sorted takes is a key. Uh, and this allows you to do some uh, computation based on each value. Uh, and give it a key value so that you could sort 
you know, based on some other derived data. Uh, I think the example in the docs is a uh, grading system. So if we had like you know, Anthony that got an A and maybe Jeff got a D and uh, George got a C or something, I don't know, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, and grades, and if we wanted to sort based on this, so let's say we have names where we have George, Jeff, and Anthony, and we wanted to sort this based on what grade they got, we could do names.sort, we could pass in a key function, and that key function can be uh, either a lambda or some other named function. We're gonna use a lambda here, um, and we're gonna take a name, so we're gonna get whatever the value is inside of our list, that'll be passed as this parameter, and we're gonna return the grade that they got, so grades of name, and, oops, <laughs> wrong parentheses. And uh, you'll see that we're able to sort these based on what grade they got. So we got Anthony and George Jeff, which matches, you know, A, then C, then D. And it will then use the derived value for picking the order of the items in the list. Um, and so that's, that's kind of the key function. Of course, you could also combine these and do reverse equals true. Uh, and that'll give you, you know, the, re the reverse order. But those are the only two keyword arguments currently do the sort functions and um, can be you know kind of useful for whatever whatever use case you need whether you need reverse sorting or some derived value to sort based on uh, but that's the very basics of sorting in python uh, hopefully this was interesting if there are additional things you would like me to explain leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms but thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one